go to uh, Walmart in West Springfield to pay my rent. Can you hear me there? Okay, so I go to pick up my rent at West Springfield. And on my way home, I guess uh, police could just uh, pull you over, pull any car over they want to, no rhyme or reason, right? Can pull any car over that they want to for no, re no reason whatsoever. And uh, yeah, I guess the police can just pull any car over that they want to for no rhyme or reason. And your word against theirs, uh, you don't have the right tags on your car. Your car is uh, been, ex been um, revoked license plate. Yeah. Huh? No, they they're there. They pulled me over. They said that my uh my uh my, my tag on my vehicle was uh revoked. Right. Now I pay my insurance. Okay? I pay my insurance. Uh, my my insurance is pulled from my job. Okay, at Home Depot we have this car insurance, and you you get your insurance. They take a portion out of every paycheck. You get a you know for for for, for your car insurance through MetLife. That's my car insurance. Before that, I had Commerce. Okay, and I'm thinking that Commerce messed up. That was Commerce, it's not Commerce, right? So because uh, I call Commerce. And um, they they said they said my my, my that I don't have any past due balance and I'm fine. So what happened was after he pulled me over, he pulled me over, and he goes tells me says uh, you know why I'm pulling you over? And I was in, I wasn't even speeding. He goes well you know why I'm pulling you over? And I go he goes he goes you don't have insurance so. I go through the car, look at them, show them my, my pay stuff thing where it says, you know, I did take it out of my, it says auto, and it says right there. And I guess that's not enough. So another cop comes over, and they're both, you know, talking, whatever, and uh, he goes, oh, if you can give me, show me some, some proof for insurance, then, you know, and I'm like, well, okay, so I'm, that's when I showed him my, and then, um, the other cop looks over at my tag on my car, my my um my plates, and he goes, "Oh, you, your plates are fine." This is what he said, word for word. He goes, "Your plates are fine because it doesn't expire to the end of this month." So okay. So and I tell the other officer, I'm saying, "Listen, just let me um, can I call my job? Because you know it's pulled out of my job." So I get on the phone, call him, and since it's like seven o'clock in the afternoon, so it's kind of you know whatever. Um, he, uh, he says, uh, he says, uh, um, he goes, uh, you, uh, he goes, you're fine. Um, just, uh, when you go home, pull something from, um, some proof of insurance. So it was walking distance. So there's nothing else that I can do. But before I left, I looked them both in the eye and I told them, I said, "Well, do you have to do this?" And according to the law, I guess so. He goes, "Yeah." And his officer, the other officer, was talking. He was like, he was telling me that oh, it's probably just a glitch in the system and whatever, you know. He goes. Just show us proof of insurance and you can get your car. And, and I was like, well, then don't tow it then. You know, that's what I'm getting. Anyway, like, no, but it's the law. We still have to tow it. So that was that. And I went home. Yeah. I can't hear you. Right. That's what they, that's what I'm under the impression of. Yeah. So then when I get. Yeah, so then when I get home, and I get the paper, and then I call them back, 
you know, because I'm not going to walk back out. I don't even know where the West Springfield Police Office, Police Department is at this point. All right, so I call them back and I tell them, and I guess he pulled my tag, or the stuff on my registration, and he got a hold of my insurance. He was like, okay, yeah, your insurance is fine, but guess what? Now he changed and says, um, your, 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 um, your registration is revoked. So I'm like, I have, I have no idea. And now it's starting to get up, up, get above my head because, I mean, you get in your car every day and go where you got to go, and you pay your insurance, right, right? But you don't go to the DMV and the, um, the, the registered motor vehicle and you go online and check to see if you're, you know, because that's why you pay insurance, right? You can't get a car insured without it being registered first, right? Right, that's what I thought. So anyway, um, they're saying that, no, the, um, the registry uh, revoked your tags. The registry, you, it, sh it shows you don't have a um, registration. So, apparently, it's coming up in the system that my registration is revoked. And I call my insurance again, and they go, nothing's showing up here, you're fine. You're in current, you're paying, you know, yeah. So, I was, and, and they thought, okay, so I take that piece of paper that they emailed me and I printed it out and Sunday, I had to wait till Sunday at noon time to go and show them to the police so I can go in my car and get my rent because I left it in the visor. So, okay, so, so I went there and I did that and, uh, it still said no. It's still showing up like, you know, no, 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 uh, it's still coming up on the DMV that you, you have no, um, no, 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 no registration. So I'm like, wow. And I go home and I have to wait till Monday now because the policies department in my, at my uh, insurance is not open until Monday. And the registry's not doing anything till, till Monday, right? So I have to wait till Monday. Now, I told him, I said, listen, I said, this is why I asked him, I said, do you have to do this? And I, because I said, I'm going to lose my job. Because I have to be to work, six, yeah. And my job has this party thing. All jobs have it. You see what I'm saying? And you pass this, yeah. So anyway. I told him, I said, well, can you just, you know, please, you know, because I got to go to work. I'm going to lose my job. If I lose my job, then, you know, he's like, well, um, no, you can't, you got to tow it and all that. So, yeah, it's towed. Anyway, and I was also said, well, I can't afford a tow. You know what I'm saying? I was for a moment like that, you know? So I'm like, um, yeah, he goes, he goes like, well, you get, you, you, you pay your, you pay your, um, you, you pay for the toll, whatever, get it out of toll, and then um, pay the citation, because he gave me a citation too, he gave me a criminal citation, I don't know why, yeah, he gave me a criminal citation, so I was like, okay, so he said, you pay all of this, and after you pay it, then you get reimbursed, I was like, yeah, that's what he said, well, I guess that's, I, I guess that's what happens in America to black people, I'm serious, and it shouldn't be that way, but it is. So I'm sitting here bugging out because I'm going to lose my job. And I'm trying to be calm. I'm trying to like, okay. So, i like, Monday comes. I call my insurance and say, do you have anything you can, you know, give them to? And they said, we've given everything. You're active. Your plates are fine. Your blah, blah, blah is fine. So maybe you can call your last insurance when you switched over, because there was a lag, right? In the middle of the month, see, you pay your bills per month, right? And I remember when I switched insurance, I didn't even drive until the other insurance picked me up. It was actually, yeah. So anyway, I remember that, specifically, I remember doing that. And then, I had paid online a $50 for registration I guess uh, transfer, right? And that was like a, a few months ago. And after that, I've been active for my insurance for MetLife from 
from January 22 on, right? So, I remember I got this year, 2021, I got this year's um, excise tax, $97. Your excise tax bill has your plate on there, right? Right. Why would City Hall take that money if my place weren't good? Well, we're both. Right. So everybody's taking money, but when it's time for them to transfer paperwork the way they're supposed to, they, they, they ain't doing it. So anyway, now my insurance tells me, says, call Commerce, see what they got to say. Maybe there is something there. So I call Commerce. They put me on to Horseman. That was my, um, that was the broker. So I called him up. The lady was so kind. God bless her heart. She went online for me. And she looked. And guess what? My registration is fine. Active. So she sent me something. She sent me an email. And I printed that out. And I went down to the police department. And I showed them. I called them before, first. And then I showed them. So, you're telling me that you pay all of your bills, okay, you pay all of them, police can still pull you over whenever they want, for no rhyme or reason, take your vehicle, and now I'm in the hole like six some hundred dollars, could have missed two days of work because of it, plus two hundred dollars for tow, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, it's a nightmare.